attitude. God isn't going to make you want him. He's going to create within you a desire for him. And if you allow Satan to misguide that, misdirect that, and misinterpret it, here's what you'll do. You'll go after things and relationships to get you satisfied, only to find out none of that will satisfy you. There is only one experience in life that brings absolute and complete satisfaction. Now think about this. Every other thing in life, you've got to have more of it. You can't think of anything in life that you can't have. you got to have a little bit more. If it's money you spend, you've got to have some more of it. When it comes to Jesus, he's like this well, this spring springing up on the inside of us. And it flows incessantly, continuously, unendingly. And as long as we're willing to drink from that well, from that spring, you know what? There's a complete satisfaction and contentment indescribable in human words. I don't know what kind of God you have, but I've just told you about the God of the Bible. And this is the only book that you and I will stand before him that'll be there. The word of the living God. And he says at the throne, there'll be grace. At the throne right now, there's grace. And if you're willing to surrender your life to Jesus Christ and trust him as your personal savior, to forgive your sins, make you a child of God, and open the throne of grace where you and I can come anytime, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 60 seconds in every single minute. He's available if we desire to come. You just have to make up your mind that you want the very best life has to offer in a personal, intimate relationship with God. Are you willing to substitute and take the counterfeit and end up disappointed? Father, how grateful we are for your love for us. We're overwhelmed when we think about how good and kind and gracious, yet undeserving and inadequate we are. You're so willing to give it so freely I pray the Holy Spirit sink this message so deep it can never be escaped. That haunting every single heart will be that question. Don't you want more? Don't you want to know him more intimately? Are you going to be satisfied with the fluff and puff of the world? Or do you want to find life as the Father intended to give it in all of its fullness? And this is my prayer today, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you've 